Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see on my channel and become part of this beautiful, wonderful family that we are growing each day. Thank you so much to every single one of you. I'd like to mention that I do have a private crochet group. If you're interested to be part of this beautiful journey with us, one big family, you're more than welcome to join as long as you have a profile. I also have a crochet page that you can follow, Instagram and TikTok. You could always get a hold of me through the messages through there if you need help with any type of, you know, pattern that you're stuck with. And uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Sometimes if I'm a little bit delayed on answering you, it's because we are in a different time zone. I'm in Europe. Most of you are in the U.S. or India or Mexico. So... You know, don't worry, I do reply back to everyone's uh, questions and comments. So most cases I use 2.75 hook for my patterns, 3, 3.5, depending on the pattern I'm creating, a small one for tucking in loose ends and a pair of scissors. Thank you to every single one of you for your suggestions, your opinions, and your kindness of your words, which is extremely important to keep us going and give us the courage that, you know, we are loved and cared for. And that's extremely important to any, any people that, you know, in general in the world, not just creators, but of course, it really does help us with the, with the creation and uh, putting it out there to everybody. I'd also would like you to please give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. It's the only way that we can keep circulating the video around the world. YouTube recognizes when there's many likes and of course subscriptions, which is free. You know, it costs nothing to hit that subscribe button and be part of this journey. So thank you so much again. Be careful in the crochet groups. There's a lot of, um, fake uh, scammers that, you know, steal your identity by you clicking on those links. They steal people's pictures and pin it up to pass it as their own. They put links with cut and bit. Do not open those links. They're scammers. They will go through your phone or your computer and grab all your information, steal everything from you. So stay away from that. You should just report them in as spam and, you know, they get uh, deleted automatically either through Facebook or through the groups. Okay, so let's get started, everyone. Thank you so much again. Okay, everyone. So I've been requested a few times already to create an American colored doily, especially for the 4th of July. Now, of course, on any doily, you can pretty much turn it into the 4th of July by using the collars. But because the request is so high, especially from Miss Joy Redford from USA, I love you so much and I send you much healing wherever you are. And God bless you always. And thank you for your wonderful messages, uh, either through YouTube or through Instagram. God bless you always. And you're always in my prayers. Have faith always and you shall be healed. Uh, so I'm going to try to create, this will be um, a medium doily because I'm using the four ply. These are 100% cotton thread, Portugal threads. Um, if you use number 10, you'll have the perfect size doily, um, smaller shape, of course, but because this is a Ford similar to Aunt Lydia number three, so it will be uh, a full medium. It's perfect for a table now, size 10, number uh, number 10 Aunt Lydia. It's a smaller doily for like a, a smaller area, small little table, like corner table or um, counters or on top of your microwave or, you know, things like that. Smaller, uh, smaller space. I'm going to try to do my best on this. Um, a picture was sent to me. I had requested from one of my friends if she can, um, uh, let me know if any of these, um, doilies, uh, especially with pineapples, because I know you, you Americans, my lovely Americans love pineapples. So I'm going to create it. She sent me a picture and of course I'm going to create it similar. I will have a little twist, make it my own. I don't know who is the creator of that specific pattern. 
but I will uh, change up the stitch a bit and make it my own uh, pattern, okay? So let's get started, everyone. I'll be using 2.75 hook, a small one to tuck in loose ends, and of course a pair of scissors. And uh, again, I send you much hug and much love, uh, Joyce Bradford. This is especially for you because you have been requesting this so much, either through YouTube or Instagram. I've been reading your messages. Of course, I've been replying. I don't know if you have um, saw my replies back. Okay, so let's get started, everyone. Thank you. So I'm going to start, uh, start off with the royal blue. I'm going to do a eight chain. Okay, not uh, the first one doesn't count. It's a slip stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and try to make it more like the colors of the American flag. So then I close in with the slip stitch. Now I might take a few videos for this because there's a lot of details to this pattern. I'm going to go up one, two, and three chain. I'm coming back in and I'm not I'm going to do three double crochets incomplete okay and now I'm going to take it out we're going to do this ten uh, times ten groups okay of three one two three chain if your stitch is too tight you can do a four chain again I'm going to actually I'm going to do a four chain on here to make sure I'm going to do again three incomplete double crochet, two, and three. And I believe, um, Miss Joy, you just joined my crochet group. Welcome to my group, sweetheart. Again, I've closed it all together. One, two, three, four chain. And back in again and do the incomplete three double crochet and then close it all together one two three four chain we're going to do this ten times so we're going to have ten groups of these three incomplete double crochet i'll meet you at the end okay so i've done my ten groups of three incomplete double crochet that means you do the three and then you close them all together one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've done my one, two, three, four chain. I'm going to come where I've closed them all together and I'm going to do a slip stitch. Okay. Coming inside of those four chain, I'm going to do a single and two chain. That's my first double crochet coming back in. I'm going to do, including with my single and two chain that's my first double crochet i'm going to have a total of five double crochets two four and five okay two chain if your tension's too tight you can do it three chain i'm going to repeat this all the way around the same way five double crochet inside of the two uh, four chain space okay just like that and two chain in between them and then again five double crochet two three four and five okay so I'll meet you at the end of my row two okay so I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Exactly as we have the ten groups that we started. Two chain. I'm going to close it on my second chain from where I went up the first one, single and two chains. I closed in with a slip stitch. I'm going to do the walk. I call it the walk into the next double crochet with a single and two chain this is my first double crochet into the next space next stitch double crochet i'm going to have a total of um six double crochets here so one per stitch skipping the first double crochet we don't do so i have four and two inside of my chain space 
So that gives me the total of six. We don't do the first double crochets. Okay, we skip the first one. Go into the second double crochet. You could either do a three chain going up, however you do your first double crochet. I usually do single and two chain. It looks more suitable with the other ones. Two, four, six, chain two. Skip the first one, go into the second. We're going to repeat exactly the same thing all the way around the same way on this third row. So we have four double crochets here because we don't do the first one. So it's like the spin wheel, that's what we're doing, okay? We're gonna continue doing this for the next few rows until we have eight double crochets, okay? Always skipping the first one. That means on the next row, row four, we skip the first one, row five, we skip the first one, and so on. Okay, so I will meet you, and always a two chain space between them. I'll meet you here when I have, when I get to the row that I have eight double crochet. So that means the next row, you're gonna have seven, and then the next row will be eight. So two more rows after this. I'll meet you at the end when I have eight double crochets, two chain space between them and skip the first double crochet. Okay, everyone, so I finished my row, one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to start to decrease. So I'm coming into the second double crochet, single and two chain. On this row six, we're going to have seven double crochets, okay? because we're going to start to decrease on the rows. Of course, I'm using leftover threads. This is just for a sample. So you'll see little knots here and there, of leftover threads that I put together so we don't put anything to waste. Two, four, six, seven, chain. Okay, so we have two, four, six, and seven. We're going to keep decreasing until uh, three double crochets and only at the end uh, with the three double crochets left because we have to close them incomplete. Then I'll come back to you after that. So chain two. I'm coming in the center of that two chain space with a single. We're going to create these loops throughout the end of this uh, design. Two, chain coming on the second double crochet and creating double crochet over double crochet. So always skipping the first double crochet. Okay. Chain two again, coming in the center with a single chain two, skip the first double crochet, go into your second. I'm going to repeat this all the way around. I'll come back to you at the beginning of the next row just to get you going and then it's just a repeat from there on. Everyone, so I finished row six, one, two, three, four, five, six, with two, four, six, seven double crochets, always skipping the first one, two chain, single in the center of that two chain, two more chain. I've closed in with a slip stitch. I'm doing the walk, I call it the walk, to the second double crochet with one single, two chain. Like I said, we're going to decrease. So you should have six double crochets now on this row. Row seven, two, four, two, four, five, and six. So it's always going to have six now. One, two, chain coming in that first loop, single. One, two, chain coming in that second loop, single. One, two, chain coming in the second double crochet and create your six double crochet, one per stitch. It's going to be repeatedly like this until I get to three double crochet. I'll come back to you on my row to start three double crochet because we need to close the, the three double crochet 
uh, incomplete. We have to close it all together. Okay, so as soon as I hit my row two, three, double crochet, I'll come back to you. You could always advance the video and see where I'm at. Okay. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much did row nine going to row ten. And this is where we're going to do the three double crochets incomplete. So I'm going into the second double crochet with a single, two chain, another double crochet, and my third one. I'm going to close it together. One, two, chain coming in my first loop with a single. So this is how we're going to do this row 10. Very simple, nothing to it. Coming in my second double crochet, incomplete, incomplete, so I have three on the hook, and my last one incomplete, so I have four loops on the hook, close it all together, one, two, chain, and again. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six loops on this row, ten. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I finished row 10, going to row 11. I've cut my thread. I'm going to come in with a white now. And I'm coming in on my first loop right after the incomplete double crochet. I'm going to do single and two chains. My first double crochet into the same space. I'm going to do incomplete double crochet into the next loop I'm going to do two more and complete double crochet so on this first group I have four in my loop and then I close it all together one two three four five chain I'm going to come in the next loop and again one two and complete double crochet next loop one Two. So I have five on my hook. I'm going to close it all together. One, two, three, four, five. And repeat again. One, two, and complete double crochet. And again into my loop, my last loop here. In the complete double crochet and close all of them together. So this is what it's going to look like. One, two, three, four, five, and two. My first loop after the group again. One, two. Next loop, one, two. So I have five on my hook. Take it all up. We're going to repeat this all the way around. If you feel that it's too tight, you don't want your pattern to be too tight, you can do one more chain stitch. Instead of five, you can do six. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. After this, I'm cutting my thread, and I'm coming in with the red. Okay, you guys, so I did my last chain. I've closed in on my first one where I closed all the... Um, the groups together. I'm going to cut my thread. I'm going to come in with the red now. Okay. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to come in right on the center where we've closed all of them together. I'm going to do a shell of two double crochets. So I'm starting with a single two chain, another double crochet, two chain, and in the same space again, two double crochets. So this is my first shell, and I'm going to do one, two chain. I'm going to come in the center of this five chain with a single, 
one, two chain. Coming again exactly where I have the other one. If your stitch is too loose, you can do a one chain, okay, instead of two. Do your shell again. So this row will be like this all the way around. into the center of that five chain with a single. Okay, two chain, and then continue exactly where we've closed off and do your shell again. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. You guys, so we completed row 12. I've just closed in with a slip stitch. I'm going to do the walk. I call it the walk with the slip stitch to the center of my shell. We are going to repeat the same row um, as we just finished doing. So we're on row 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we're going to do shell over shell. Same way as we just did, two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet, chain two. Coming in where we have our single with a single, chain two. So it's just a repeat, double crochet, another double crochet, chain two, and two more double crochet. So where the shell is, that's where we're doing shells, and where the single is, we're repeating chain two and single. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so we finished doing row 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Going into row 14, I'm going to come in with the white. We're going to repeat the same row as we have here in white. Okay, so basically you would come in. So single, chain two. We're going to do that in complete groups again like we did. Obviously we have to close the first one this way. Chain two. And now we do incomplete and incomplete again and close it all together. I'm going to do one, two chain again. If you have the need to do three chain, then go ahead. I think I will have to do three chain. I think two chain is too tight. Three chain. So you always put your attention to the test, see what works best for you. One, two, three, and again. One, two, incomplete, close it together. One, two, chain, again. One, two, incomplete, close it together. One, two, three, it's just a repeat all the way around. And then I'm coming back in with my red. One, two, three, and we're going to start the foundation of the pineapples. One, two, and complete. Now, here's the thing. If you want to go bigger on the pattern, you can do two more rows like this. Okay, so that means on the next, on this row that we're doing now, if you're repeating these rows here, row 13, that means you would do uh, your shell do chain four or five, depending upon your tension. And then on the next row, then you'd close it in the center like we did here with a single. So you'd add two more shells, two more rows of shells, and your pattern would be bigger. Okay, because I'm doing just a, a demo, I don't need my pattern to be so big. It will be big just the same. I mean, perfect for a table. But um, I don't want it to be huge either because my thread is thick, right? Thick enough to, to go big. Okay, so repeat this. I'll meet you at the end. So do your shell, two, uh, three chain single on the single, three chain shell again, incompletes, and two chain space. Everyone, so I have to recount because I can't remember <laughs> where I'm at. I keep counting 
stitches 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, going to row 15. I'm coming back in with the red. And we're going to start the foundation of the pineapples. So here you can take any shell at, at anywhere. It doesn't matter where you start. Single, two chain. I'm going to do four double crochet. We're going to alternate. One shell will be four double crochet. The next shell will be nine double crochet for the pineapple. One, two, three, four, five chain. I'm going to come in. And if I see that I have too much, probably going to do four chain only to start off. This is how I keep measuring my things. So four chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine double crochet. So here's the first foundation of my pineapple. Now, if you want to go bigger also on the pineapple, you just add more double crochets, whatever size you would like to go. Again, one, two, three, four chain. I'm coming into the next shell, four double crochet. Okay, so simple as that. And the next shell, nine double crochet. And this is how we're gonna alternate all the way around. Four double crochet, four chain, depending upon your tension, you might need to do five, nine double crochet, four chain, four, sh uh, four double crochet. So always like that. One, two, three, four chain. Coming in and doing my nine double crochet. seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I finished row 15, going to row 16. We are going to repeat the four double crochets. So one, two, three chain, or you can do that single and two chain. I'm just going directly up. Again, Double crochet, next space, double crochet, and again, double crochet. So we have four double crochet. So I'm going to do one, two, three chain. If your tension is too tight, you can do a four chain. I'm going to do three. I think it's just fine for me. One double crochet per stitch, space one chain between them. So we'll have nine double crochets the same way as we did in the bottom. Difference is we'll have one chain space between them. Double crochet, one chain. Double crochet, one chain. So we'll have the nine one chain space between. Again, chain three. One, two, three. If your tension is too tight, you can do chain four. If it's too loose, then do just chain two. Mine's in between at this point. I'm trying to keep it in the same tension. And repeat the four double crochets. We're going to repeat it this way, all the way around the same way. Four double crochets over double crochet, three chain, nine double crochets, one chain space between them, and three double crochets again and continue on. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, going to row 17. We're going to start the loops on the pineapples. I'm going to come back and do my single two chains. So we're going to create the four groups here, not four groups, the four double crochets. The same way. One, two, three chain coming in between the first and the second double crochet with a single. One, two, three chain. 
one, two, three chain. So now we're going to start to decrease on this pineapple. One, two, three chain. One, two, three chain. I've changed the pattern completely of the picture that my friend had sent me. So this is totally my own. I didn't want it to be the same, so I changed everything. Thought I was going to change just a few things, but no. So I made it my own pattern. One, two, three. And then create the four double crochets. We're going to repeat this all the way around the same way. Okay, four double crochet, three chain. Going to the first loop. Uh, between the double crochets here with a single three chain single three chain single so you should have one two three four five six seven loops of three chain I'll meet you at the end into row 17 I'm coming back in after I've closed in with the slip stitch single two chain again another double crochet we're going to change here a bit I'm going to do one chain Coming into the next one, do my two double crochets. Okay, so one chain space. We need to split them so we can close the pineapple. One, two, three, and continue to decrease on the pineapple. Three chain, single, one, two, three, next loop. Three chain, single, two, three. So it's just a repeat now, I'm just decreasing on the loops. And don't forget here, we need to do double crochet, next stitch, double crochet, one chain space, and the other two double crochets. We're going to repeat this the same way all the way around, so don't forget, you have one chain there. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, going to row 19. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to keep these two groups together or the two double crochets together. So single two chain and another double crochet. One chain coming in doing a single one chain and then Continue with the other two double crochet. Okay, so we have one chain space here and a single in the center. One, two, three. Continue with your loops with a decrease. So we should have five loops on this row. One, one two three four five chain three and repeat the same thing on this row so do your two double crochet your one chain come in single one chain and again your two double crochets okay so we're going to repeat this the same way all the way around i'll meet you at the end Going to row 20, one, two, three, because we've closed in with a slip stitch. So we continue with the two groups, uh, the two double crochets there. One, two chain this time, coming in the center where the loop is of one chain, single, two chain. So we're just doing loops here now. Two chain, and again, continue to do your two double crochets. And then one, two, three, stays the same until the end and continue with your loops on the pineapple. So on this row, you should have four loops on the pineapple. 
We're going to continue to do it this way until we have one loop left on the pineapple. So you're going to continue to do your two chain and into the loops with a single exactly how we just did here. There's no point in recording until the one loop left on the pineapple because it's just a repeat. Two double crochet, two chain, single, two chain, single, two chain, two double crochet. Okay, so I'll meet you when I have done my one loop left on the pineapple. Okay, you guys, so I pretty much completed my rounds until I had one left of the pineapple and I have all together 23 rows. I'm coming back in with the blue. We're almost there. The royal blue. I'm going to come in where I have those two double crochets before the loops of the pineapple and I have the last ones there with a single two chain. And another double crochet. Try to pull this thread back here. I'm going to do one, two, three, four chain this time to close in this pineapple. One, two, three, four chain and complete the two double crochets here right after the pineapple also. Now, on the two chain loop, of course, you should know already if you're too loose because we don't want it to bang like waves either. That's why you should always look ahead of the video. If it's too loose for you and it's it's not becoming, I mean, it's normal that it's a little bit wavy because once you, you um, block it and iron it or whatever the case may be for you, it's going to come straight. But if it's too, too wavy, like example if I crump it up like this and if it's like this it's not good you have too much stitch there so that's for that reason it becomes too wavy what you can do is in order to pull the pattern together instead of doing the two chain here as I was doing with the single you could do one chain only okay now this time I'm going to do one chain I'm going to skip my first loop that I have here and I'm coming in the second loop and I'm going to do two double crochet, two chain and two more double crochet. So I'm building a little shell there. I'm going to skip the next loop and I'm coming in the next one and doing again a shell of two double crochet, two chain and two double crochet. Okay, now we have two loops left, but I'm gonna ignore those two loops left. Okay, so I'm gonna do one chain. If it's too tight, then you can do a two chain. That means you would have to do a two chain here, which I think is best because I can see it's already pulling and I don't want it to pull. So I'm going to do a two chain and that's usually how it goes when you create something. If you find it's pulling, then you just take down those few stitches and so I'm going to do two, two chains. So let me just confirm something here. Skip one, do here, skip one, do there. Okay, so two chains. So I'm going to skip one space here and I'm going to do the shell as I was doing. Two double crochet, two chain space, and two more double crochet in the same space. Okay. Skip one space here and go into the next one. Now, if you find that your stitch is too tight and still pulling, you can do a one chain space there. There is no regulations with one chain or two chain or three chain. It all depends on your tension. You have to remember that. One, two chain. I'm going to come in on top of the double crochet. Yes, I do have two space left here, which I don't care. What's important is to get these more or less into the center there. One, two, two, three, and four chain. I'm coming in my one loop space and closing it off. One, two, three, four chain. 
And again, doing my two double crochets. One, two, chain. I'm going to skip the first space and I'm coming in the next. So we're repeating these shells of two double crochet again. And I'm just going with the flow out of my head. So it's not like um, I have this planned out. So you're basically creating everything with me from scratch. So skip a space and create your next shell again. Remembering that you could always use a hook or two bigger to get your stitch loosened up. Don't forget that. Your chains, you could always go extra chains. That's important too. Okay, so we skip the last two uh, space there and go directly to the double crochet with double crochet. So we're closing out the pineapples pretty much as you can see here. Mm -hmm. I think it looks pretty good. One, two, three, four. And to the last loop with a single. And just repeat everything all the way around. And I'll meet you once. So finished row 24, going into row 25. I'm going to go up one, two, three, chain into the next space with another double crochet. I'm going to do one, probably have to do two chain here, coming into the next space, closing off that the two double crochets there. So three chain. I'm going to come into the shell. And do my two double crochets, two chain. one chain. I'm going to come in between my shells here. One chain into the next shell with shell. Two double crochet. I'll show you in a second. Just trying to figure this out as I go. Okay, so we did a two double crochet, we did two chain, two double crochet, two chain shell, one chain, one double crochet between the shells, one chain, and the shell. One, two chain. I'm going to come in and do the two double crochets. Two chain and into the last two double crochets. I have to see if it's not pulling. If it is, then I will have to add a few more stitches. No, it's not pulling for me. Seems like it's fine. Okay, so just repeat this all the way around. Two chain, come back in. Do your shell of two double crochet, two chain and two more double crochet all inside of the same shell. One chain in between shells, one double crochet. One chain, repeat the shell. Chain two and repeat the two double crochets to uh, for the pineapple closing. Chain two and again on the other two double crochets at the end. So it's not pulling and I'm glad it's not pulling or else I would have to add a few more stitches. I think I'm okay with that. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Just want to show you, make sure that you understood. Okay, you guys, this is row 26, my last row. I'm going to come in between where we have the pineapple 
those two chains we did right in the center. And I'm going to do two incomplete double crochet. So my single two chain is my first double crochet. Obviously, this is the first uh, group. We can't really do too much of the incomplete. So chain three, picot. I'm coming back in. And now I continue to do the incomplete double crochet. Okay. I'm going to do one chain. I'm going to come in where I have my two chain space in between uh, the two double crochets from the pineapple and the shell. Doing three chain. Picot. And again, one, two. Close it all together. One chain space into the next one. Doing the incomplete. Double crochet one, two, three. Picot. And again, incomplete, double crochet, and close it at once, one chain. I'm coming on top where I have that one double crochet and doing my incomplete all on top of the same double crochet. One, two, three. Picot, coming back in again. Okay one chain into the shell. So just making it simple and it matches everything else. So I have one, two, three, four, five groups, one chain. I'm coming in where the two chain is just before the two double crochets. one chain and right back into the center where we have the pineapple. One chain and then continue on from there like that. So I think, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, I've tried my best to create my own thing as I went. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, Miss Joyce, uh, Joy Bradford, I hope you like this American 4th of July um, doily centerpiece. So thank you everybody for being here. Please give a thumbs up if you like it. Let me know. How is it? How did you find this um, inspiration one? And uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Much blessings to all of you. I send you much, much hugs, Miss Joy. Prayers up for you, for healing, and for your son. God bless. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other. And never give up faith and hope. Things can get healed and cured. In the name of Jesus. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.